Hello. This time I want to tell you the story of this picture. Why I painted it, and what I wanted to create with it. First, I am very interested if you would like me to tell you more about the paintings I paint, about their history. Let me know in the comments if you find this interesting. This painting I started to paint after I got an invitation to do another puzzle in Bulgaria, and the painting I needed to create had to be much more colorful. The last paintings I painted are more lyrical, and the colors are more delicate, and very gently flowing. This time I needed to make a painting that was quite bold with some very challenging tones that would blend in and become a beautiful flush rather than being mud. This really took me out of my comfort zone because I've been really into the soft lyrical tones lately. When I started painting, I was nervous, to say the least. I wanted to bring in more expression. I wanted to paint boldly and I wanted to paint with colors that weren't such gentle soft colors that there is a lot of risk of messing everything up. So I started you will see further on how I'd paint this painting how the paint is being thrown, how the color is being thrown, and how the colors are flowing into each other, and this way of painting creates a sense of freedom. A sense of unpredictability makes the process very interesting. I really like to paint in a way where I don't know what's going to happen in the end. You'll see how at a certain point, the green world starts to take over the orange, and it's very important to keep the light from the leaves at that point. It's very important that the orange doesn't disappear, but that it complements and supports along with the green. Against this background stand the gentle, lyrical colors of magnolia, in absolute contrast to the very expressive and strong background. As you have noticed in my paintings, the background is never just a minor secondary character. In my paintings, the background is the main actor. It participates together with the main character in the painting, no matter if it is a flower, a bird, a boat. In short, the background is important. Let me know in the comments if you have tried painting this way. And if sometimes the background has become as important to you as it is to me. Have you experienced the background going from an absolutely minor character to a leading one? And actually, the most important thing in the painting is the background, and not the main character a flower, a bird, a boat, a person. Look at the picture. Watch how I create it. Try to create something similar, and then write if you succeeded subscribe to the channel if you like it, and now I wish you a very, very enjoyable watching the creation of this very expressive painting.
Thank you.